All right, what's up, guys? It's GSR here, so I'm just gonna get straight to the point. Um, I'm seeing a lot of cringy ass MK high level players, including MK YouTubers, dick riding this game and pandering to this game, even though all they saw was a trailer, a cinematic trailer at that. Um, they seen no gameplay footage of how this game is actually going to play out. They don't even have hands-on experience and they're overhyping the game. You know what's funny? They did that with Mortal Kombat 11 and the moment they started playing the game, they were very underwhelmed. Even Maximilian dude did the same shit. He went to a gaming invention or whatever the hell you want to call that shit with his best friends and they overhyped the game. He got like 1.5 million views on that bullshit. But then later on down the line, a year or two passes and I kid you not, he actually made a video complaining about the lack of combos. There's not enough combo variety within the game. So I find this highly distasteful how somebody can see a trailer of younger versions of the classic characters that we all know and love as if we haven't seen this done before. And they overhype the game as if they've seen the actual gameplay itself or as if they played the game themselves. And this is the bullshit I'm talking about. They did the same shit with Aftermath when we all know for a fact that some of the action in the story mode of Aftermath DLC, including Fujin, is the reason why that trailer sold the way it did. Okay, we, we can we can stop the cap now this part right here with Shang Tsung coming through I was feeling a bit underwhelmed by it because it's like I, I didn't really feel that impressed There was even certain people on YouTube channels like oh, it's Shang You know what I mean? Like I was really hoping to see Onaga come through there or somebody else I'm hoping he's not gonna be like the main protagonist or something like that. It's, it's just gonna be annoying I'm not saying that you know um this game's gonna be trash or this game's gonna be this and that. I'm not gonna jump the gun. I don't like criticizing games, not unless I've played them and I have enough experience to talk about the stuff that I talk about. But at the end of the day, you know, the trailer wasn't bad. It's just that, you know, seeing people with these cringy ass, clickbait and ass thumbnails is just fucking ridiculous. Like, I mean, you're overhyping shit way too fucking much, way too much. I mean, you acting like you acting like this is the greatest fighting game of all time or some shit like that. And it's definitely not, especially on a competitive side. Like, so it sells on hype and entertainment, I think. And I think that's what they have over the other two, um, you know, games such as Tekken and Street Fighter. But at the end of the day, when it comes to that competitive side, I don't think NRS can even compete with them. But for somehow, some way they are, which is fucking insane to me. But um it just shows people don't know what a real competitive fighting game is but last time i checked these are the same developers that banned an individual because they didn't like his variation name that he put underneath for shiva on why did nrs do this when he had a valid point these are also the same developers that actually stopped supporting mortal kombat 11 and this isn't their first time actually doing something like this with their own product okay Yet, you have people that are high-level players that are well-known in the Mortal Kombat community, such as MK Rio, talking shit in one of his videos, talking about how, oh, well, I can't wait until they patch the game so people can stop complaining about it. But I knew deep down inside they weren't going to do that. And did they do that? No. And he put his own foot in his mouth. That's the reason why I told you guys you can't always listen to what a high-level player says. Because they pander. They dick ride. This is what they do. This is how they make money. They overhype shit for no fucking reason at all. This is this is how they make their bread. This is how they make their money. And people can say what they want about me, but at the end of the fucking day, I'm not one of these cringy ass MK YouTubers that overhype a fucking cinematic trailer as if this is the greatest thing they've ever seen since Wonder Bread or some shit, my nigga. At the end of the motherfucking day, I don't even think Shang Tsung should even be a pre-order character. He should be in a base roster. Then on top of that, Liu Kang should be the pre-order character because he's the fire slash thunder god. And on top of that, he's the keeper of time. But not only that, he is way older than all of these characters you have chosen to in this cinematic trailer. You, you understand what I'm saying? But see, this is what I'm saying. The game sells based off of hype and iconic shit that they have in entertainment. That's what they sell off of. You understand what I'm saying? So, like I said, people can say what they want. Also, this fatality right here that Liu Kang did, the Shang Tsung, the younger version of Shang Tsung. Um, I'm curious on whether or not Liu Kang is going to be playable. But not only that, I'm also curious whether or not he's going to have that fatality. Because in Mortal Kombat 11, um, 
Scorpion killed Raiden in the trailer. Um, what a certain vitality that he actually has. However, if you look at Raiden, when he did his vitality on Scorpion, he doesn't have that as an actual vitality. You guys ever think that was weird? I'm not making. I'm not even making the shit up. You guys literally can look at Raiden's fatality move list, and you'll notice that he doesn't even have that shit at all. But yet Scorpion does. That how, how the fuck does that logically make any sense? But hey, you know what? I don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Just like if I start exposing problems with this game, watch what happens. Everybody's gonna pander. Everybody's gonna dick ride and lie and oppose change of progression for a game as usual, and that's what the fuck's gonna happen. And then they're gonna dick ride another MK YouTuber and that's that's the cycle that that's the fucking cycle that that i keep seeing that's the reason why i sit back in the shadows and i just laugh to myself because i already know what it is um but anyway let's talk about some positive shit before everybody starts grabbing pitchforks and getting all fucking upset i see what they did with this trailer though by adding melina so that way people can get off their period like it's that time of the month but anyway um so there's supposed to be some game modes that they're adding. Um, I'm looking forward to that to a certain degree. Um, this is giving me a Shaolin Monks feel because you got Scorpion with Sub-Zero. You got Kung Lao with Raiden. I would assume that's who that is. You got Melina with Kitana. Like, it, it's kind of giving me vibes of that. Um, I'm hoping Shang Tsung is not the main protagonist and the story. It doesn't seem like this game is going to be based around a tournament scene. It seems like it's going to be based around the decisions that you make, which it seems like to me, uh, Liu Kang is not a huge fan of people disturbing the peace because he made an example out of Shang Tsung in his uh, cinematic trailer. I I'm not even gonna cap my nigga. Now, um, there's gonna be some skins, DLC characters, and stuff like that. So I am looking forward to seeing um, how this game is gonna be uh, gameplay wise when it comes to the new system. Uh, there's some form of a tag team mode in a sense, but I'm I'm still trying to understand that completely because I'm trying to see whether or not that's going to be the case are these characters that aren't going to be playable assisting you in a fight or like how is that going to work exactly especially on a competitive side i hope it ain't going to be on no dragon ball z fighters bullshit where like motherfuckers can just fucking be unsafe on block but then you do like some type of assist with your 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 other character and shit that's assisting you in a fight and then like you're significantly close on block that shit is dumb as fuck especially when you know it's oppressive with offense so hopefully that's not the case with this game but this is just my honest opinion y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below peace